Hello guys, how are you? And welcome back to Football Manager 2021 with me, John, aka Omansur, back again with Chelsea in the beta safe. And yeah, things have been going brilliantly. We couldn't have really asked for much more. So we're going to quickly go through the results that we've had since the last game, which was the 1-0 win over Man City. And as you can see, we beat Burnley 1-0 in the Premier uh, Division. Not a bad win for us. It's a pretty simple one. As you can see, Mason Mount got the goal. A bit tougher than we would have liked, but yeah, it worked out okay. We then beat Dymino Zagreb in the Champions Cup, or the Champions League, whatever you want to call it. In the, um, four nil win, really good start for us there. We then played Crystal Palace, a 3-1 win there for us as well. Overall, uh, yeah, couldn't have asked for much more than that. We then played Zenit and beat them 2-1. Pretty comfortable away from home, I would say. A good win for us, put us top of uh, Group B as well. Then we went on this little bit of a bad run where we were getting some draws. West Ham, we would like to have beat them as well, but uh, we managed to get a one-all draw there. We then played Leipzig, and my God, they scored like two goals in about five minutes, both from corners. Uh, we had to swap a few little tweaks here and there, but we eventually did get back into it, and it was a free-all draw against probably the team that was the hardest team to play against in um, the Champions League for us. We then played Leicester, another two all draw for us there. Um, hudson Adoy actually been fantastic for us, hudson Adoy lately. Get the two goals for us and um, yeah, we sort of, we kept the undefeated streak going but a couple of draws. We then played Southampton and absolutely walloped them. Abraham getting the goal, Postlick and um, Timo Werner as well. Uh, a really good win for us against Southampton. We then played Leipzig again at home and this time we beat them 3-0. As you'd expect, we are probably a stronger side than them um, at home. Uh, away from home, yeah, it was a bit more tricky but at home, we did pretty damn well and uh, that pretty much put us through qualification on the Champions Cup or the Champions League, whatever you want to call it. Liverpool today is going to be a very difficult game. It's going to be more like the Man City. It might bring us our first loss. We were going to obviously do our best, but yeah, it's going to be a really tricky game. Quickly show you, we are second actually. Leeds, out of all the team, Leeds are undefeated still as well. Right bit, uh, above us there. I mean, we're actually exactly even square, as you, as you can see, uh, 23 points each. 14 goals scored each, or goal difference each. Everton, four points behind us, Man U, Arsenal, Man City. The one thing I will say is Tottenham are in 17th after eight games. Okay, they could go up to 14th, but still, what the hell's going on with Spurs? Uh, Fulham, Brighton, Newcastle. I think you'd sort of expect them all to be around this bottom end anyway. Burnley, Crystal Palace are around there as well. Sheffield United, Aston Villa, unfortunately. But yeah, I mean, West Brom up in the 11th is fantastic for them but Leeds top of the league I mean we're fighting all the way with them as you can see in the Champions League we are four points clear two games left to go but we can't be I don't think we can pretty much be uh, caught now uh, so yeah we're through Zetberg, Leipzig are the ones fighting for that one and we've got West Ham in the Carabao Cup quarterfinals. So again, maybe get a little bit more of a revenge for that draw against them. Get through to the semi-final would be absolutely fantastic. We're waiting for the uh, FA Cup still. Apart from that though, there's not much else really to talk about. Not much has happened. Um, transfers, just in case there was a couple of transfers you might have missed. Uh, we did get rid of one or two people, if we can find them. Will it be at the bottom here, I think? Um, yeah, Christensen went to Arsenal on loan. Possibly being sold for like 20 million. Emerson went to Leicester um, and Giroud went off to Monaco. So we probably will need to buy another striker, but at the moment we're doing absolutely fine. And I think we've got cover for everything we need and that sort of stuff. So, yeah, overall, really, really happy with what we've done so far. Do want to bring one or two more players in January? I mean, you know, I could have sold one of our big players, but I just didn't see the reason why sell one of our big players for £50 million just so I could go and buy some players when we had a decent enough player there sort of thing so i'd like to have maybe got some of these as actual fees but i think the problem is is with the covid and the finances the first season is very tricky um or it seems that way anyway so we'll see maybe in january things will pick up a little bit we can spend a bit of money we've got about 10 million pound 9 million pound in the bank and we might end up getting rid of one or two more players i don't know yet we'll wait and see um yeah apart from that though i think everything else is going absolutely fantastic team report is looking pretty okay as you can see here i showed you this last time but if i show you the attacking again we're probably being a little bit wasteful but we're having lots and lots of shots we just probably need to try and get a creep over this line a little bit more be a bit like manchester united really uh overall but i don't think we can complain too much at the moment overall um and as you can see here on the general performance 
we're doing pretty well maybe tackles one ratio is a little bit low but over that we're absolutely killing it so and that is you know that's why we're top of the league so let's get into it and say how we're going to get on against Liverpool because this is going to be a really really tough game and it's a game I really do want to try and win if we can so we'll go to the tactical meeting uh what does it say here add the take uh, hit early crosses we're going to do that um we're not I like Reese James there but let's see are we going to keep this team at the moment uh Mende in goal yes I'm going to bring uh Silver into the defense I just feel like you know experienced head should do a little bit better for us um Hudson Adoy where are you we'll bring you off for uh you we'll put you across to like that and I think do we guess do we keep mount or do we go for more defensive so Kante's a bit tired uh, we'll bring Kante in though I think and where else can we change things a little bit we've got Hudson Odoi Alonso I mean I'm quite happy I think with our substitutions I think that's pretty decent do we want to bring Mount in actually that's the thing who do we bring Mount in for if we do um let's bring Mount in there I think apart from that I think I'm pretty happy with what we've got there yeah, I'm pretty happy with that, I feel. Uh, Reese James, actually, put you in defender right. And that's, I think, about as good as we're going to get. So it's going to be Mendy, Chilwell, Tomari, Silva, and James in defence. Kovic and Kante are going to be in our midfield. We're going to have uh, Zaichi, uh, Havats, and Polsic out on the left there. And Abraham up front. We got Abraham, he scored seven. Werner scored nine. I mean, they're both scoring goals. We'll go Werner, and then we can always move over to... Uh, to uh, Abraham if we need to to Tammy but let's see how we get on man I wish we I hope we do just win this game this would be absolutely fantastic if we win this game uh, Leeds are playing Manchester United so there's a good chance that they could lose that game I think this is a perfect opportunity for us here to do something we're going to pump fist and say the media it's motivated most of them so I'll take that I think uh, how important do you think the good team spirit at Chelsea? I'll say the team is playing with a freedom. Are you concerned to speak with lower the morale? Uh, I have no concerns. Mental strength is good. Liverpool have been disappointing in the English Premier League so far and find themselves in eighth. Can Liverpool give themselves a much needed shot in the arm? Uh, we're going to have to be at our best. It's a big day all round. How much do you look forward to it? It's always tremendous. Uh, at day, are you perhaps feeling the pressure in the build up for this fixture? Um, I'm happy with the work to work under pressure. We'll just say that. And um, let's uh, get into the game. We're in blue. Liverpool are obviously in their red. And let's see how we get on. And they placed quite well to start off with. They've got it for me now. He's in already and just puts it wide. Early scare for us there. I mean, we need to do a bit better to that. But we've got a throw in now. Can we actually create something ourselves here? We get the ball. Uh, we get out wide. Oh, good pass to Havitz. Get in there. Kyle Havitz with the goal. A lovely through ball that he just ran onto and smashed past the, um, the keeper. Absolutely fantastic. We'll definitely take that as a good start. Look at that perfect weighted pass by Reese James. And Havitz just slides it in. That is a perfect goal. That is the start we wanted as well. And uh, there's a long way to go, I know. But could have asked for much better in the way there of a start let's say okay, bring us down so we can see it oh, we do go top as well three points clear of Leeds who might be losing we've got a corner we whip it in we can't find anyone now uh, Pulsic picks it up Pulsic with a shot Ooh, I thought that was going to go in then Becker with the save and 20 minutes gone we are much the better side actually I thought Liverpool would be a bit more than this but we seem to be having quite a lot of shots they've got a corner there they put it in deep and oh it hits did it hit the bar it looked like it hit the bar oh my god uh, Gomez now puts it in Mane gets there Wijnaldum can't quite get there Milner as they play it around Henderson Firmino gets in there damn it they score Roberto Firmino with the goal I mean with the players they've got up front, they've always got a chance, haven't they? They have always got a chance, but we didn't defend very well at all. We uh, we just like they just played Henson with a great little ball there to Main and Man Sonny Main puts a lovely ball into Firmino, but we should have done a little bit better than that. Thirty minutes gone, and we're doing well. Like I said, we're doing okay. We're going to demand a little bit more from them at the moment. I don't think I, I don't like this. I don't really see the shouts doing much 
I don't like the way it looks like these little smiley faces compared to FM20 I do prefer having the text there I must admit overall I'm really loving the new UI and everything like that but that, that little bit there just yeah I'm not a massive fan of it same as I'm not a massive fan of all some of these here I mean we'll say that quickly go to the tactics is there anything who's not playing well at the moment um I mean up front we're not playing brilliantly but we're not playing bad I mean Mendy's not having a great game I mean, I might try Kepa, I don't know yet. Um, I'm happy with how things are going. We've been doing pretty well, but we just need to. I mean, this here just doesn't mean anything to me. There's too many too many little dots and everything like that. You can't really get any information. Oh, I can't anyway, but other people might. But I don't really see any information in that myself. But, you know, this is why I'm looking at this sort of stuff here, because this is where we get the information from if we need it. Um, but overall, we're doing pretty well. 68 minutes. I mean, God, time's flying. We've got a throw in here. Cheerwell gets it to Kovic. Uh, Cheerwell puts it in. Ooh, it goes down. Werner. Oh, so close. Right, I think it's time we have a couple of substitutions. Uh, Timo Werner's not playing great. Let's bring Tammy on for you. Um, who else is not playing great? I think we're going to bring on Jorginho. We'll bring you on. And apart from that, Chilwell's not having a great game. So let's bring on Aspicueleta. Um there. We're going to go all three subs, confirm the substitutions, and we'll give it a shout and demand a little bit more from the team. And can we possibly pick up a winner? With 10 minutes or so left to go, can we get a winner? I mean, looking at this, we're a little bit ahead on the XG, but it's a really tight game overall. We've probably had a few more shots. Maybe deserved to have got a goal. But it's, it's so tight at the moment. But now Sayo Main with the ball. And he gives it to Chamberlain. Who gives it to Diego Jota. Who puts it in but Mende with the safe hands. It's going to look like it's going to finish a one all draw at the moment. There's four minutes left to go. Can we maybe get something? We've got a couple of yellow cards unfortunately. But it looks like that's it. Full time overall. I wish we'd done a little bit better than that. Because really I do feel like we should have got a bit more out of it. But we had higher XG. We won on that. But I mean, like I said... I don't know how much importance that's going to really be. Result takes us top, though. It looks like Leeds did lose. Um, it gives us a platform to build on. That's all we can say there, isn't it? Uh, yeah, Leeds... No, Leeds haven't played yet. Right, Leeds haven't played yet. We need Leeds to play Man U and then see how that goes, which should be after this game or um, the next day, at least, anyway. Um, right. Close to paying his cause. Fierce Ray's Kenton's taste fitness. I might give him a bit of a rest. But yeah, we're literally a point ahead now of Leeds. Depending on how they do, we could end up in second. We could. But overall, we're still undefeated. We can't really complain too much at that, can we? Maybe we should try and do a tweak a little bit more here and there. But I think we could, if we're finding our form, we're finding a good position anyway. Um, that is going to be the end of the episode. Remember to like, remember to subscribe, all that sort of stuff. I didn't tell you when I was going to come back, actually, did I? Um, we will come back probably for... When are we going to come back? I might come back for the Aston Villa game, to be honest, because they're being my side. We've got a really weird run in. We're playing a lot of teams... As you can see, I, we've already played. And then we play like Leeds twice near the end of the season. So we've got Leeds there. And um, we've got Leeds there. Which is really weird. Sheffield United as well. So, yeah. But there's certain games that um, it's just a bit all over the place, isn't it, this season? It feels like. So we'll probably play a good selection. Come back for like the Aston Villa game. Maybe the West Ham game. Something like that. It's like, well, Carabao Cup actually won't come back for that. Uh, but yeah, we'll definitely come back for the Aston Villa. And we can come back down for like the Arsenal game or something along those lines. Um we should probably work out well because it will be the uh, January transfer then. So, thank you for watching, guys. Remember to like, subscribe, all that sort of stuff. Remember to uh, drop a comment as well. Let me know what you like, what you don't like. Let me know how your saves are going, all that sort of stuff. It would be fantastic to hear from you guys. I will speak to you very, very shortly. Bye for now.